Hi friends first of all i would like to say thanks to all of you for watching my videos continuously in this video of today i will explain how you can connect ip camera to pc without nvr so what are the necessary things to connect it with the ip camera to laptop and what are the default ip address of the camera and if you don't know ip address of the camera how you can find ip address of the camera how you can record the live view of the camera in your laptop and how you can see its playback in your laptop and you can also watch necessary settings required for it so first we will discuss what are the necessary accessories for it to connect the ip camera to laptop without nvr so first of all we have taken a ip camera you can see here its poe switch also a separate power point is given here so and this is a hik vision camera so i will explain you can take any ip camera i will explain what are the necessary things to connect it so one first one is adapter that is 12 volt and 1.5 ampere i have taken you can take it according to your your camera's power requirement so this camera need 1 ampere i have taken power adapter of 1.5 ampere you can take power adapter according to camera specification and other one is ethernet cable so i have taken a ethernet cable so first we will connect ethernet cable to the camera cable and other end of the ethernet cable i have connected to the laptop ethernet point and after that i will connect power adapter to the power point of the camera now connection has been completed and now i will plug this power to electric board after that we will proceed to the system and i will explain how you can connect ip camera on laptop without nvr and you can see its live view and also you can record and see recorded files and any other settings if you need to do i will also explain that settings also so let's proceed and if you have not subscribed my channel till now so please subscribe it so you will get regular update according to technology let's proceed now to connect ip camera with laptop first of all you need to know the ip address of the camera so every camera has its default ip address so you can see it mentioned on the camera and if you are not able to find the ip address you can search in my videos you will find the method how you can find ip address of the any camera and if you if you are not able to find ip address of the camera you can comment i will share you the link how you can find ip address of the camera or and easiest way you can download advanced ip scanner and you can scan the ip address of the camera even after if you are not able to find the ip address then comment in comment box i will reply you how you can find so first of all need to see the ip series of the your laptop so we will click on ethernet and click on the network here we can see here uh, the ip address is 192.168.1.10 series 1.10 its ip address of the laptop and the ip address of my camera is 192.168.1.64 so both are in same series if the ip address of the camera is 192.168.0.64 then here in laptop we will mention 192.168.0.10 in this way both camera ip address or any device ip address should be same in the series of the laptop you can change ip address in laptop or in camera but both will be in same series so now we will ping ip address of the camera so default ip of the camera is 
डॉट वन सिक्स एट डॉट वन डॉट सिक्सटी फोर सो हियर नाउ इट्स पिंगिंग यू कैन सी हियर रिप्लाई फ्रॉम दिस आई पी एड्रेस बाई टाइम एंड टी टी एल सो नाउ द कैमरा इज कनेक्टेड टू द लैपटॉप प्रॉपरली सो वी कैन ओपन नाउ इट ऑन क्रोम ब्राउजर or you can open it on explorer also so here i will open on chrome browser 192.168.64 here you will type user id and password of the camera and now you can see here uh, live view is not being appeared in chrome browser i have already made a video how you can open it on chrome browser some camera and some version support on chrome browser and some don't support on chrome browser so you can add ie tab in your chrome browser so i am opening now on ie tab here i will give user id and password of the camera and after that i will be able to log in the camera now you can see the live view of the camera camera is connected now here you can see in configuration option so i will explain some necessary settings required for the camera which are very useful time to time so first you can set time and date of the camera it's very important cause while watching the playback of the camera if your time is not set properly you will face a problem so first you need to set time setting here you can set your time of the your camera in time setting option and in user management you can create some users and also you can give authority to them after that if you want to record the file in your laptop you will click on local option here you can see uh, the file length you can select here file length 256 mb 512 mb and 1 gb so uh, when file reach at this size this will save to your laptop or any of any desired location so here you can save if you need a snapshot also on your laptop so here you can set a location where you need a snapshot and when this size reached then you can open the files and some more settings are very important for this ip camera you will click on event in event here you can find enable motion detection enable dynamic analysis for motion here you can set a area for motion detection in which area if any movement will be done then you will get alarm video tampering if there will be any temp tampering with the video if anyone will disconnect wire and other things then you if you have enable it you will get alarm on your mail in case of motion if you need image files then also you will get image files for that you need to do some seti settings so enable motion and here you can set time for which time you want to enable motion detection if you want to enable it night you can set here day wise and time wise you can select from here linkage method how you can link these settings with your email id with your surveillance center and with your ftp or memory card 
सो हियर आर दी नॉर्मल लिंकेज मेथड इफ यू नीड इमेजेस ऑफ द मोशन यू विल क्लिक ऑन सेंड ईमेल देन यू विल फाइंड द इमेजेस ऑन योर ईमेल फॉर दिस यू नीड टू सेट एफ सेटिंग और सर्वर एस एम टी पी सर्वर ऑफ द ई मेल इफ इट्स जी मेल देन यू नीड टू पुट एस एम टी पी सर्वर ऑफ द जी मेल एंड ऑल्सो एस एम टी पी सर्वर पोर्ट इफ यू हैव मेल आई डी ऑन याहू देन यू नीड टू पुट एस एम टी पी सर्वर आई पी सर्वर एड्रेस और पोर्ट ऑफ याहू ऑन दी सर्वर सेटिंग आफ्टर पुटिंग दी सेटिंग्स यू विल गेट notification on the email so these are also very important settings to monitor of any ip camera so now you can connect any of ip camera with your laptop very easily so in this one i have already explained everything very well and in user management you can add here some users and you can give authority to them for live view or playback or if you want to give a 34 changes in settings then you can also allow them you can add other admin with uh, super permission so you can allot here super permission in network option uh, if you will click on dscp and restart your camera it will take a ip address from your uh, laptop automatically but if you have not clicked on dscp then you need to assign a particular ip of ip to the camera and here you can test the connection of the ip camera in advanced settings here are the some server address here you can put the server address if you want to store the recording in your cloud storage then you need to put here server i p address and port address after that user name and password if you will put all the things and now you can click on upload picture then you will start receiving pictures on your server cloud storage server same thing in case of the email notification as smtp port of the gmail is 25 here you will put smtp server and ip address then you will find the images and video recording on your email server or ftp uh, here it enable access mode for hick connect then you will be able to connect on hick connect software now if you have any other query you can comment in your in comment box i will make a separate video on your particular topic if you have not subscribed this channel till now so please subscribe it and also if you like the video please share it to your network so that other users may get its benefit thanks